Hello and welcome to UCTV Overtime. My name is David J. Cooney and each week we will bring you your Utica College sports highlights. The Utica College football team traveled to Cortland this past weekend. Utica took the loss with a final score of 44 to 12. Starting quarterback Logan Wilcox went 15 of 36 for 255 passing yards and had one interception. The team's good plays were just not good enough to pull off the win against the Dragons. The women's soccer team hosted Hartwick College and lost as well with a final score of 0-2. It was the first Empire 8 loss of the season for the team. Senior goaltender Allison Wagner made five saves during the game, but it just wasn't enough for the Pioneers to win. The women's volleyball team lost on Saturday to King's College and the Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. They lost both games by a score of 3 to nothing. Their record is now 2-19. and The Utica College men's golf team finished at the top of the leaderboard at the end of the first day of the Empire 8 Conference Fall Championship. The Pioneers shot a 3-13 as a team with St. John Fisher trailing right behind them. Women's field hockey shut out Sage College 4 to nothing. Junior Sabrina Whitehouse had a play in all four of the Pioneers' goals. Senior Amanda Fitzgerald shot the last goal for the team at 54-39, and it was her first goal as a Pioneer. The Pioneers were making a strong effort on the field Saturday. Both men's and women's soccer teams celebrated a victory and sustained a loss. The women's soccer team lost its first Empire 8 Conference matchup of the season to Hartwick this Saturday. The UC team lost 2-0. Both teams played hard as the senior goalie, Allison Wagner, blocked five goals. Hartwick goalie, Cassandra Robitelli, won up the team by blocking all seven of UC's attempts on goal. UC women's soccer holds a record of 10-3 this season, and right now they are taking the field with SUNY Pauley to reinstate their reputation as fierce competitors in the Empire 8. As for the UC men's soccer team, is celebrating a win. The Pioneers beat out Elmira College on Saturday, which marks the team's seventh win this season. Sophomore midfielder Javon James showed fans some serious skill on the field Saturday and scored two out of the three goals for the UC team. Adam Nichols of Elmira started the game off right with an early score in the fifth minute assisted by Jake Meyer, also of Elmira. The score stayed 1-0 through the whole first half. In the second half, Thomas Mueller scored the first goal in the first 10 minutes of, off a pass from junior Patrick Hines, tying things up, quickly followed by a James to overtake Elmira. Elmira's Nick Provo scored off a corner kick to even up the score, but the Pioneers bounced back thanks to a second score by James leading to UC's 3-2 win. This win placed the men's soccer team at the top of the Empire 8 standings. Utica College women's volleyball team suffered a third straight loss Saturday at home against Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. Junior Megan Romaguera led the Pioneers with seven kills along with freshman Eleanor Scipio with 10 assists and freshman Cameron Bowler with 14 digs. The Pioneers' next matchup is on the road this Friday against conference foe Hartwick College. As the semester continues, winter athletes are beginning to prepare for the approaching season. UCTV member Mark Mitchell had the opportunity to sit down with women's hockey player Hannah Beckham to discuss the teams this season. I'm sitting here with freshman Hannah Beckman from the women's hockey team. Hannah, how are you today? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, so let's get it started. What position do you play and where are you from? Um, I'm originally from New Jersey and I play right wing. All right, so going to see a lot of goals from you this year, I hope. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did you choose UC? I chose UC definitely for the facilities. Um, I think UC is was definitely the top on my list from the very beginning. So once Clausen kind of called me and um, I came for a visit and I knew right then and there, once I saw the odd, once I saw the campus, you know, hockey's really fortunate, probably the most fortunate teams on campus. So once I saw everything, I definitely knew I wanted to come here. Yeah, for sure. Um, the odd does that to a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it gets it gets pretty rowdy up in there. So. <laughs> I'm excited to see all yeah. the fans. <laughs> um, so what else did you see like impact you when you came on your visit? Um, I think just the people. 
um, for sure. I think everyone is just, it's a great atmosphere, it's a great environment. Um, everyone's really welcoming, really quick, especially during orientation. And also I love my teammates and um, my coaches made me feel comfortable right away. So that's definitely a big part of it. Yeah, and you talk about your teammates. How have they, what have they done to uh, prepare for this upcoming season? Uh, you know, practices have been really difficult. They've been intense for sure, but um, our trainer, Nate, has been pushing us in the weight room. Um, I think we've all just been working hard. We've been trying to um, pump each other up, whether it's in the weight room or on the ice, and I think we're all just, this week especially, you know, working on systems. We're just getting our mindset for the season, and I think with all of us just boosting each other's confidence and um, keeping each other in check, I think that's definitely what's helping us be ready. Okay. So, what how is the team feeling about the upcoming season? What can we expect from Um, I think we're all really excited. Um, I think we're probably one of the fortunate teams who gets to start a little bit earlier than the others. So I think that's definitely exciting. And we got a big trip in Canada coming up. So we're all really pumped for that. And um, I think we're all just really excited with us new incoming freshmen. It's a new kind of new feeling. Um, Chemistry is getting there. And I think we're all just really excited to see what we can do, and we definitely want to be um, the better team every single game and come out on top. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, so being a freshman and coming from you know <coughs> New Jersey and yeah. coming up to uh, play in Utica, like how has the team helped you be comfortable around everyone, and how is the chemistry so far from your aspect? Yeah, um, I think you know I've been on a lot of different teams. I've played in Minnesota as well, played in Vermont, and um, so I've been with a lot of different girls. Um, but, you know, I have a teammate from Minnesota as well, and um, team teammates from Canada, and I think all of us being from different places, I think we all kind of fall on each other, and um, it's pretty good. And everyone just made each other feel at home. I feel like, you know, we're always, like I said before, keeping each other in check, so I think always being there for each other, I think is good. And team chemistry so far looks good. I feel like I've known the girls for a year already, but it's only like week eight or something. So that's definitely a big plus. Yeah, definitely having that bond on the ice really makes you understand where everyone's going to be. Yeah, definitely. Communications is a big part of hockey. Absolutely. Um, so you guys are going to Canada, as we you are. said. Yeah. Um, what can what do you expect from that experience, and how, who are you guys going to play? Uh, well, we're playing in a couple of different places in Canada. So we're playing in Ontario, um, London Devilettes, and a, and a couple of other teams. But um, I'm definitely expecting a hard-fought game. Um, I think we want to get off the bat really strong off the first face-off, and I think we're going to go really hard. And um, they're going to be – they're good teams. Um, I know from past experience, you know, the league they're in, they're really talented. But I think we're just going to make sure, you know – we keep our skill, we know where we are, and we're just gonna make sure we get right off the first phase off. Awesome. Um, when do you guys leave and uh, what day? Saturday at 5.15 in the morning, so bright and early. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a mood for sure. Oh, for sure, <laughs> definitely. Um, now you guys' first home game is November 8th against Mooresville State College. What are you, how do you plan for that? Um, I'm nervous, definitely, but um, I try to put all those nerves into excitement and energy. So um, I think I'm definitely just going to stick with my typical pregame rituals that I've been doing for a while. And um, I'm just excited to play at the odds, see, see some fans, hopefully, and, um, you know, make sure to come. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I definitely i am really excited. Uh, it's my first college game. It's, it's going to be a dream come true. I already know it. So to put on that jersey, I'm really pumped for it. Hey, the butterflies make you make you a better player. Absolutely. So they're not there. They're not meant to be there. Exactly. You know? Definitely. Um, well, Hannah, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, thank you for having view. me. Thank you. Awesome. And thank you both to Hannah Beckman and Mark Mitchell for that interview. This weekend, Utica College Football will square off against the St. John Fisher Cardinals for the third annual New York State Tool Believe Bowl. UCTV had the chance to talk with Brian McQueen about this event. Let's see what he had to say. My name is Brian McQueen, and I'm the assistant football coach in charge of community relations. I'm actually one of the co-founders of the Believe 271 Foundation. It was actually formed uh, five years ago uh, when I was battling cancer. I had to spend six weeks in New York City. Um, and so two firefighters from uh, the Barneville Fire Department, Brian Palmer, Brian Healy, wanted to sell helmet stickers for the firefighters to help defray the cost. 
and uh, they thought 350 helmet stickers would be a great thing to do, so they sold them for $5. Unfortunately, right now, I should say fortunately, we're about 6,000 helmet stickers that have been sold. I believe 271, my, my deputy fire coordinator number, when I was a deputy fire coordinator in Ida County, was 271. Um, so that's where the 271 came from. Believe was something that my wife always told me that you had to do. My son always told me you had to believe that you could beat cancer. Because I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was ready to write my obituary. You know, when somebody tells you you have cancer, your life completely changes. And it's, it, it's, it's that support team that you have. It's that support people that walk, or walk with you every day that tells you you got to believe. And a matter of fact, I wrote a book that was called You Gotta Believe. And it talks about my trials and tribulations going through my cancer, my, you know, my cancer diagnosis, my time in New York City, and what people have to do to protect themselves. Because when you get cancer, your whole family gets cancer because it's not just about you, it's about those people you go home to every day. It's about those soccer games you go see, you know? So cancer is an epidemic. We need to do something about it. Um, how did I get involved with it? With, with Blaise Fagiano is, is very a, a unique experience. When my son played football at Whitesboro, uh, Blaze came down and recruited him to play at St. John Fisher. So this game is really special coming up. Uh, and then when it was time for uh, Blaze to apply for Utica College job, he did call me and he said, what do you think? And I said, Blaze, you're a Utica guy. You know, you need to come to Utica College and coach the football team. And then uh, three years ago, we sat in a cafe over in, over in North Utica, and he said, we need to do something. We need to bring the community involved into Utica College football, just like uh, Chief, or Coach Heenan has done for the hockey team. So uh, I said, why don't we have the Believe Bowl? Let's have the Believe Bowl on a special game. You know, let's uh, dedicate it to the families and to the firefighters with cancer and first responders with cancer. He thought it was a good idea. We then sat down with uh, Matt Wilsey and Lisa Wilsey uh, from the New York State Tool Company and ask them if they would uh, be some of our major sponsors for it. They love the idea, and here we are three years later. I think our first luncheon we had, we had 35 people. Our second luncheon we had 40, and yesterday we had 85. You know, we have 48 stuffed moose that the cheerleaders on their timeouts and on their breaks are gonna be throwing up into the stands. You know, just say, you never fear the moose. So we've got some great events going on. It's only gonna get bigger. Um, we have a, uh, a 50-50 raffle going on. Along with that 50-50 raffle, we have a uh, Utica College football cornhole game that was specifically created for this event, and that's going to be won by the 50-50 person as well. So that's something new for us this year. So I encourage you to take a 50-50 chance because that cornhole game is going to be something that's going to make you remember about the Believe, the Believe Bowl. And thank you to Brian McQueen for taking time out of his busy schedule. The Believe Bowl is set to take place on Saturday, October 12th at 1 p.m. In addition, this Saturday, you can catch the men's soccer team when they take the field at 7.30 versus Nazareth. My name is David J. Cooney, and thank you for watching UCTV Overtime. And as always, fear the moose.